guys thank you so much for connecting me and continue to watch my videos in this playlist and uh, watch the entire videos the all the 50 videos in the playlist i bet by the time you complete these videos you'd become a pro at go using google ads and i'm prashant and i would be taking you through today with the expanded text ads but before i jump into expanded text ads remember we've already discussed about the ad rank we discussed about the, the search network display network we discussed about keywords we discussed about auction we discussed about quality score we discussed about the account level settings we discussed about um, the campaign level settings right right uh, we've discussed so many things if you haven't discussed you can see them in the, in the other videos that you have in the playlist but today uh, we talk about the the text ads right now so essentially when you create a campaign targeting text search network you are allowed to create text ads and these ads we call them expanded text ads right expanded text ads so when you create these ads you have to remember the structure first is you create an account when you create an account you have to give account level settings there are five six account level settings i've already discussed you can watch them second is once you create an account you then create campaigns and when you create a campaign there are 16 to 20 settings that you have to give and these campaign settings are there for every campaign you can't hop or skip these settings and move further so you, when you create an account you have to give account level settings and then you create campaigns and there are several campaign level settings and then you create an ad group in the ad group you create ads and keywords right and then you create ads and keywords first is account first is account second one is campaign third one is uh, ad group level setting fourth one is add and keyword level settings right so right so once you create a campaign you then move on to creating a uh, once you create an account you then move on to creating a campaign and then you go to creating an ad group and then you create ads so if you're creating a search network campaign when you come to this point of creating an ad remember you have to create an ad which is a text ad and we call them expanded text ads so when you come here remember you have to write the final url what is final url when people see your ad and click on the ad, they go to one page, right? For example, when people see my ad and click on my ad, they have to go to my, my, my digital marketing bootcamp page. So I would give that URL as my final URL. That means the ultimate page when people click on the ad, they should go to, right? Or they should land upon, we call it as final URL. And the headline one, you can write up to 30 characters. Headline two, you can write up 30 characters. Headline three, you can write 30 characters. Headline three is new. And when you give display URL, display URL is again what is displayed in the ad. For example, if my website is www.shandranigundula.com, you see the display URL will automatically come here. And you have two things called path 1 and path 2. Path 1 will allow you to write 15 characters. Path 2 will allow you to write 15 characters. So I can say, I can say something like um, Google Ads Expert, you see. You, you find this here so this is what is visible this is what is visible in the ad you see that here so this is the dis display path one path two and you can write up to 15 characters we will discuss in detail we'll go into an excel sheet and we'll discuss in detail and you have description one you can have 90 characters description two you can write up to 90 characters and then you have url options here you can apply tracking templates. I will create one specific video for tracking templates. That's an advanced uh, thing. I would not put that in this playlist. There's a separate video, uh, separate videos apart from this playlist. You can go and watch these videos. You'll talk. You, you'll see me speaking about or sharing about tracking template, right? And tracking template. In that you can use custom parameters as well, and you can use value track parameters as well. I will not talk about that, but for now I will merge it, right? So remember when you create an expanded text ad, you have to write headline one, headline two, headline three description one description two display url and the final url right so let's come to the excel sheet but remember when you create a campaign you have to create the ad group in each ad group google recommends you to write at least three ads you see one ad is here one ad is here one ad so google recommends you to write three ads and in one ad group you can write multiple keywords there is also one concept called skag single keyword ad group where you know experts try and create multiple ad groups in each ad group they have one ad and one keyword thus making your ads and keywords very relevant which will influence your quality score so you can even do that rather than creating multiple ad groups you can put all keywords in one ad group or you can create one ad group for one keyword and one ad that's up to you how do you want to you know optimize so let's jump to my excel sheet now this is called expanded text ads you see the first one is called headline one and headline one can have 30 characters and I have written 30 characters or uh, 30 characters and you no, know, I've written 26 characters. I'm using a formula here, Excel sheet formula and uh, headline two, I can have 30 characters 
and I'm using how many 27 characters I have I can still write another four characters but if I want to I can do that but it's always recommended that you use the entire space because the real estate here in Google is very expensive right headline 3 I'm writing for 450 and, and, and 36 plus modules and description uh, one I wrote 55 days of immersive training most in-depth GTM strategies you can write 90 characters but I'm writing 74 again I'm telling you you can write up to 90 characters there's no problem but always try and make sure that your ads are very very attractive the motive of your ad is to get a click remember the whole point of writing an ad is to attract clicks and headline description too I'm writing India's first and all display URL I gave my URL uh, my, my company's URL and uh, and final URL also I gave that means when people click on the ad they go to this page remember there is one small policy here remember you might go to an interview there's small policy your display URL and final URL domain have to be same I am not saying the page has to be same I'm saying the domain has to be same which means if my if my display URL is xyz.com I can't take a user to abc.com you can take a user to xyz.com any page on xyz.com it's okay but you can't take them to a page which is completely different or completely uh, uh, having a different domain right the motive of the ad is to attract a click remember its job is not to get conversion ads job is not to get a conversion it is our job our job is to turn clicks into conversion but the motive of the ad is to attract a click whose job is to get conversion advert experts work to turn clicks into conversions increase conversion that is what we're supposed to do so getting a click it's okay you write a good ad you'll get clicks but getting conversions is more important so our job is to turn more clicks into conversions all right now these are certain things that you might uh, that you should remember uniform resource locator which is url the entire url uri is whatever is after slash we call it as uri domain is makemarketer.com top level domain is com scheme is https host name is www this one and ssl certificate i think you might be aware right now when you create an ad there are certain best practices you can't simply go right however you want so when you create an ad google recommended certain best practices these are the best practices always use initial capitalizations always use prices and promotions you see Initial capitalization D M B P R H M D I T M D G S. The first letter of every word is capital letter. That is initial capitalization. That will make your ad very sophisticated. It looks good. Always use prices and promotions. That means the whole point is make your ad very attractive that people will be enticed to click upon. And that will happen when you put some number. So if you have price and promotion put them if you don't have price and promotion at least put some number in the ad that will make your ad more attractive so i put 450 100 percent why i'm writing because i want my ad to be more attractive always use a strong call to action word why strong call to action word okay people saw the ad now what they should know right what they should be doing so right so you have to put something where that will that will you know that will tell people as to what you expect them to do so i put something called register now here because i want people who so see the ad to understand that hey i want you to see not just see but register so a strong call to action word and then you have one important keyword because i want my ads and keywords to be very relevant so i put one important keyword in my ad now you see digital marketing bootcamp i put my keyword in the ad because that is my keyword right so then tell the features tell the benefit sell the benefits so if you're writing an ad don't tell the uh, benefits sell the benefits tell the features and then highlight one important quality of your business why you're not the only person whose ads will be served remember the other people whose ads will be served alongside you so make sure your ads always display that quality which highlights you right now remember people don't buy products they buy the benefits of the product so if you're a good salesman always try to sell the benefits so in the same way you want to write a good ad write ads that will you know emphasize on the benefits right use question marks in the ad it is good because you make them curious you know but don't mislead the users you make them anxious but don't mislead the users though and try different messaging it is always recommended that you write different different versions of ad in one ad if you're writing certifications in your one ad you may write placements why it is always recommended that you write different variations of the ad to understand which ad is performing better right and uh, we will discuss about dynamic keyword insertion if functions and ad customizers in my next video here you're talking about the expanded text ads headline one headline two headline three display url and then you have path 15 characters 15 characters and then you have uh, descriptions two descriptions each description can have 90 characters so on the whole you have a lot of characters that you can use to emphasize and make your ad very attractive so that you can attract more clicks remember once you get a click that's when the entire magic happens you have to turn the click into conversions if they just click on the ad and come to my site and don't do anything that's of no use to me i want people to click on my ad because conversion can only happen after i get a click right and now when when you write an ad there are certain things that you should not do in the ad these are called editorial policies right you cannot use an exclamation mark in the headline 
you cannot use separators in the ad separators you know pipe the forward slash backward slash in the pipe you can use forward slash backward slash but you can't use the pipe exclamation mark can be used in the descriptions only one you can't use two only one and that too you can't use it in the headline you cannot use phone numbers in the ad if you're writing an ad and you want to use a phone number in the ad not allowed so google give you one sub gives you one separate place where you can write a phone number that we call it ad extensions and that is call extensions we'll learn them in the future videos unnecessary punctuations is not allowed special characters are allowed you can write special characters you can put full stop you can put quotes you can put at the rate you can put dollar sign but you cannot use them unnecessarily second one vague and gimmicky words not allowed as in you know words that have no meaning for example uh, you know asdf gf you know you know see you five and and all these things not a chat language is not allowed the word click here is not allowed remember guys the word click here is not allowed because it's entirely pay-per-click business the word click here is not allowed bad vulgar words not allowed trademark terms are not allowed trademark so if you want if you're writing if you're promoting an ad to promote an iphone or if you're writing an ad to promote an iphone you cannot use the word iphone why iphone is not your trademark it is owned by apple so google will not allow you to use any trademark term right so if a word you're using is trademark google will simply disapprove your ad but don't worry there is a way you can use a trademark term in the ad but for that you have to apply for a trademark authorization so what is trademark authorization let me come let me take you there so there's something called trademark authorization form if you go to trademark authorization form google adwords help center there is a trademark or the request authorization so what you can do is in case you want to use one trademark uh, uh, in your ad you can ask the trademark owner you can ask the trademark owner to give permission to you that means he has to submit a form to google which is trademark authorization form and submit to google and in that form he has to mention your customer id and when google receives that they will whitelist your account so you can use that particular trademark term in your ad and you cannot use any, any other trademark only that particular trademark that you are allowed for Prashant, I don't know how to contact. I don't even know their email address. Don't worry. You can contact the Google support and Google will give you the email address of the trademark owner. So once you have it, I can write an email to them and request them. If you can give me the trademark authorization, maybe I can use your trademark term and promote your products. Right. So and you can read more about the trademark authorization policy here. And then you have uh, capitalization. See, in intercapitalization is not love. You cannot write G capital. R small, E capital, A small, T capital. Great. You can't do that. You can. You cannot even write the entire word in capitals. You cannot write G R E A T in all caps. Not allowed. You can use initial capitalization, which is the first one. The first letter of every word can be a capital letter, but not the entire word. If you write that, ad will be disapproved. Repetitive words not allowed. You cannot write sale, 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 free, free, free. You cannot do that. Unacceptable spacing not allowed. Spelling mistakes are not allowed. If your ads are disapproved again, if you do some mistake in here, Google will disapprove your ad. If your ads are disapproved, you can again go make those changes, and again your ad will go for review. And you don't make any violations, Google will approve your ad, right? But remember, you can't just skip it. There are certain times wherein you know you make a mistake, and still Google you know approves your ad because that goes into an automated review. But again, even though you make a mistake and somehow your ad got approved, Google has a uh, has a policy where they randomly sweep all the approved ads as well. So in those times, the ad that skipped or you know circumvented the system will get disapproved. So don't make mistakes. Make an ad, or when you write an ad, be sure that you want to write a perfect ad that will attract more people to click on your ad. And when you bring them to your site, your site should be such that you turn those people into conversions, right? And uh, then if you go a little further, there are certain businesses that Google does not allow. Alcohol is not allowed by Google. Porn is allowed by Google, but it is not allowed in certain countries where it is banned. Tobacco is completely not allowed. Porn is allowed in some countries. In India, it is not allowed. Alcohol is not allowed by Google. Tobacco is not allowed. Poker is not allowed. Counterfeit goods not allowed. Copyrighted content not allowed. Sale of free items not allowed. Academic aid. Academic aid as in I will write your dissertation. I will do your project. I will complete your uh, you know thesis. You can't do that. Information harvesting site, a site which is being promoted only to garner information of people, not allowed. You can put the entire content if they are interested, they'll fill the form, but don't make it a point that you bring people only to capture the information, not allowed. Bridge page, you bring people to one page with the intention that they will move to other page, so that page is a bridge page, right? Not allowed, right? Hate and anti-speech, not allowed. Arbitrage, uh, uh, you have a website and you're driving traffic to that website through Google Ads, and your site does not allow have any good content or it adds no value to a user. A site with little or no value 
will be violating arbitrage policy and Google will not allow such sites. Escort service is not allowed. Botox, liposuction, there's some, 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 some you know, pharma, some healthcare related surgeries and medicines not allowed. You can find them on the internet on Google Health Center. But drugs are not allowed. Right? If you violate any of these policies, remember Google will take it strictly. They will be called as egregious violations and your accounts get suspended. So please make sure when you are doing this, please make sure that you follow these policies. If you are if you are violating any of these policies, if your accounts get suspended, again, it's very, very hard to revoke that. You have to remove all these things. If your ads get disapproved, again, you can try and rectify those errors and get them approved. But if your website gets suspended, they will go through every little thing. So be careful, guys, and watch this video. Create an ad with the intention that the motive of the ad is to attract a click. And your job is to turn those clicks into conversions right and uh, stay connected watch my other videos on ad extensions um, I'm, I'm keeping these entirely on youtube for free so you can go and you don't have to go to an institute to learn these things you learn in real time that's the only reason why you should get connected to a good trainer work on accounts that invest literally crores you can go through my website and uh, I, if you want any 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 other videos on some topics you can leave them in the content uh, or the comment section or you can write an email or you can find my email on the site thank you so much and i will see you with another video thank you